Good morning to you. You live in a shoe. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? It is actually 5-11. I am in such a fantastic mood. Let me just tell you how, what a fantastic mood I am in today. I mean, I really am. Um, I came home, I had a little meeting today that I had to go to, and then I went, and I'm gonna show you guys something really quick. Hold on a second. And then, uh, I went and I got a, a venti iced coffee with two equal. And, oh, hold on, I gotta put the rest of my stuff away, I forgot. PP's picture always has to go back up, right here. I can't have it in my videos because, see, it always goes right there. If I have it in my videos, it will, um, oh, my table. I also can't have this plant, or five plants. Um, but if I have it in the videos, it um, auto-focuses on the videos, so I can't have them on there. Um, but I went and got coffee, and then I was like, I am just going to, I have, oh, I had my booktube and my Peter Rosemans videos, they uploaded so late last night, but I just posted them today instead. And so I only had to make my main channel video today. And, um, and then I got like ready, and I was like, I'm ready to make like five videos, but I was like, why don't you just relax? Take a day and just relax. So I did that. I. Um, took a really nice shower with that I used the shower bomb that um Ashley sent me and then I like shampooed and conditioned my hair and used all my new lush products that sleepy I love that sleepy lotion oh my god and then I uh had recently got some Creed I finally bought some Creed cologne and um so I layer that on myself and I just feel so luxurious and um so anyway I wanted to show you guys what I got Alex if you guys had seen his Instagram he's so excited okay so I had done a video on my main channel about uh Desi Perkins and how she was doing a new collection with key sunglasses now if you guys have seen I have a pair of key sunglasses it's Q-U-A-Y um, but I have, like, these are the ones that I have. God, they're so hot, aren't they? I love these sunglasses so much. The Fonz. <coughs> that will be my, uh, thumb my thumbnail tomorrow for this video. Anyway, so let me tell you, they reached out to me because I did the video about how much I loved them and I thought they were, like, the best sunglasses out there, which I do. I've had... So many pairs of really nice sunglasses, and these are so durable. And so, are you guys ready? She told me, okay, so this Becca from Key Sunglasses, she contacted me, and she was like, can we send you some sunglasses? And I was like, sure, I would love it. Like, that was, I mean, PR? Oh, my God. I was so excited, right? And she was like, we love your videos. We cracked up through the whole thing, blah, blah, blah. She was so nice and just, like, so down to earth and approachable. But she told me that she was sending me a box, and I thought, well, she's probably sending, like, a pair for me and a pair for Alex. That's really what I thought. 14 pairs of sunglasses, you guys. And the neatest little card, she sent me this postcard, and it says, Peter, you are Tim, Team Key's new favorite person. Always happy to throw some shade your way. XX Becca. You guys, let me just tell you, I am so excited because some of these sunglasses are, like, not sunglasses that I would, like, buy for myself but I'm kind of living for. <gasps> oh my God, look, aren't they so fantastic? I have, okay, so the one, these and these are pink, but these in black, I wore all day yesterday. Like, I felt like such a movie star. And they sent, this is not sponsored. I did not get paid to do this, except for I did get 14. Oh, there's a little pee pee getting some water. I did get 14 pairs of sunglasses, so I did get paid that way. But this is not sponsored. I have no affiliate code, nothing like that. They just were so kind to send me these. But look at these really nice sunglass cases, which I love because my other pair have these plastic sunglass cases. So anyway, they sent us all these. Um... I really, really wanted these, and they sent them to me. I cannot believe it. Are you ready? <gasps> Look at them. They're blue tinted. PP, you don't even know that your dad is such a celebrity, do you? Because <laughs> look at me. I'm in my celebrity classes. I haven't been so excited about something in a long time. PP's stretching. 
So anyway, they sent me so many fun pairs. These are the ones that Alex wanted. So those are the same ones, but these are like orange tinted. He was really excited about these. They sent us so many fun pairs. Um, Tanya has really, really wanted a pair of white sunglasses for a long time. Where are the white ones? Like, she has looked constantly for white sunglasses. So, I'm giving these to Tanya. Aren't they cute? Because Tanya wears all white in the summer, typically. So, she's going to love those. And they sent me that, that style. Okay, apparently... Let me show you. Okay, apparently this style that I'm so in love with, oh my god, are the uh, Kylie Jenner ones. I mean, I am like always for an aviator, but I have to say that I think that this style is like, well, they're pushed way down, but I think this style is so good for me. <laughs> if this is what being a beauty of... Uh, the beauty blogger. If this is what being a beauty uh, YouTuber is all about, hey, I'm all for it. But anyway, I'm sure they don't watch my vlogs, but key sunglasses. See, it's Q-U-A-Y, Australia, but you pronounce it key, I guess. I called it Quay forever, and I was so embarrassed. Somebody, and they were like, do you know that it, they were really nice about it, too. Like a friend of mine, they were like, do you know it's key, not Okay, not Quay. I was like, no, I didn't know that. So anyway, but now I do, and I'm their favorite person. <laughs> so. I love it so much. My little present. Fun, fun, fun. We're all having fun today. So anyway, now I've got to go to Costco and pick up PP's Lasix. And then I have to um, go to the bookstore because I've got to pick find My Sweet Audrina by V.C. Andrews um, because it is, we're doing the read-along that I talked about last night, and I've got to find it so I can start it. I have a copy of Heaven already. And then um, Tani and I are getting, we're thinking, she hasn't called me back yet. Why hasn't she called me back? We're thinking about getting um, those foot massages, but they're really like the all over the clothes, body, you know, massages. We're thinking about getting those tonight at 7.30. So, um, I'm going to surprise her and take her since she uh, was so good about helping with pee-pee and taking care of pee-pee. Oh my God. So do you remember, I, I, I've got all kinds of free stuff. Do you remember I did the video talking about Lashify, <laughs> the magnetic eyelashes, and I shared in there that Tanya didn't know how to use them. So, um, one, two cosmetics who apparently are the inventor of the original magnetic eye reached out to me and they're like, can we send you our entire collection and instructions on how you and Tanya can do them? And then you and Tanya can do a video. So true story, Tanya and I are, um, going to do a video doing, we're going to do like a gossip chat and we're going to talk about, um, how to put on fake eyelashes. It's going to be so fun. I can't wait. <laughs> I love coming up with ideas for videos. It's so fun. And, um, there's so many things out there to do. You know, there's so many little fun things that you can do in the world. Um, oh, look at little PB. One of the reasons why we're getting all new bedding, we're getting all white bedding. But one of the reasons I just cannot get rid of the shallow blanket is because it's the only blanket that PP will sleep on. Look at little PB. PP, what are you doing, honey? How are you today? He says, I'm okay. He likes to sleep in his cave. He likes to make a little cave for himself, but his face always has to be showing, see? Where's PP? <laughs> I used to play this game, and I would come in here, and he'd be hiding underneath the blankets, and I'd go, where's PP? And I would touch all around, and he would stay completely still. Oh, little PP. How are you today? You doing okay, honey? He looks like he doesn't feel well, but let me just tell you, as soon as his dad comes home, he will be running laps. So let me just show you, not that you guys have already all seen this, but here's my lip scrub that Ashley sent me. I just used the shower uh, thing, 
And um, let's see. This is the Sleepy Lush product that I love. And then I use this, I have a sample that they gave me. I thought I didn't like it, but I really do like it. It's called Mr. Daddy's Hair Candy Hair Dressing. And it's actually really nice. Um, here, let me, I gotta, I'm gonna use, oh Lord, we don't want the camera on it. Okay, so let me open this and show this to you. This is what it looks like inside. And it kind of smells like seaweed. Like kelp. And here's my new creed that I was so excited about. <gasps> oh, smells so good. I love it. Okay, so. Now I have to get changed so that I can Go get your medicine, pee, pee I don't know which where. It's actually snowing outside Indiana today. And I was wearing a sweatshirt, but I really just don't want to wear that sweatshirt, but I guess I can. It's just not that big of a deal. <laughs> the same old damn sweatshirt. All right, you guys. I'm, Alex has, like, redesigned all of his cologne bottles, so now I cannot get into... I can't post my camera where I used to post post my camera. I can't put it up there where I used to, He needs to, like, get rid of... Most of these leather bracelets... Oh, my God, this place is so dusty. We're going to do a major spring cleaning. We just talked about it the other day, so... All right. Um, I... Can we just talk about... Alex's infatuation with underwear. Can we just talk about, all, look at this. All of Alex's underwear. I love those but polka dot ones. I mean, this is ridiculous. How many pairs of underwear does one person need? Anyway, all right, you guys, I will be back. I'm trying to kind of vlog throughout the whole day. So, do you see what a good mood I'm in today? Life is short, dance, have fun. I'll see you later. Hello. Okay, I'm getting ready to go get gas. Put on my new sunglasses. <laughs> you ready for these? I do feel like I'm a celebrity in these. <laughs> I know they're a little obnoxious and I don't even really care. Um, I mean, they look better when I'm not just in some, you know, Meyer sweatshirt. <laughs> they look a little bit better when I have one like, yesterday I had on a, like a black t-shirt. They look much better with that. Um, it is snowing in Indianapolis, you guys. I cannot believe it. And Tanya just canceled on me. She said, um, I think I'm going to pass on the massages tonight. It's too cold to go out. And I said, okay. I said, well, let me know if you want to get a fountain later. And she, we just call it fountains. We don't call it fountain cokes anymore. And she was like, um... Uh, will do, probably will want one or something like that. I'm thinking, it's too cold to go get a massage, but it's not too cold to go get a fountain pop, Tanya Jean. So anyway, I, uh, I gotta go fill up my tank with gas. I just came back, uploaded my video, and, um, went and got PB's medicine, gave him his medicine, did that, and now I am going to the bookstore. I wanna go, there's two bookstores I wanna go to. Um, and then I'm gonna come, I'm gonna get something to eat. I'm like really craving pasta right now. I don't know why. Um, Carb Central starches. And um, I think I'm gonna get something to eat and then come home. I texted Alex, I said, do you have plans tonight? Cause on Wednesday nights he usually does something with his friend that he works with. And um, he's like, yeah, we haven't really talked about it yet. So he was like, why, what do you have going on? And I was like, well do something if you want. Cause I'm just gonna nap. Um, I'm thinking about I have all these humidifier aromatherapy oils, and we haven't really used my brand new humidifier that I are you, that I you had <laughs> that I had to have this year. So I'm like I'm thinking I'm gonna like turn the humidifier on high, you know, let the dogs cuddle around me. I love those kind of naps, you know, on days like this when it's cold outside. I just realized too, we didn't have one fire in our fireplace this entire winter, not one. Tonight would probably be a good night to do that. So, um, and now I'm going to get gas right now. I'm trying, I was going to go to new age people, which is like that new age psychic store. And I was going to get like those, they have the best candle waxes in the entire world there. That Swan Creek. I was going to get some new candle waxes because they, oh my God, they smell so good. 
But I was like, I'm trying this thing right now where it's like, I honest to God have like, I mean, I was going to say 30 and then I was going to be like, don't exaggerate, but I bet I have 40 different kinds of candle waxes. They don't even fit in that drawer that I'm like, don't, I'm, a, I'm kind of at this thing where I don't want to buy things that I already have a surplus of. It's like, it just feels wasteful to me. And so I'm trying not to do that. But I'll probably go in there just to look and see what they have. Do you ever do that? Do you ever go, well, I'm going to go in there just to look. And, uh, so... Here's my struggle right now. I have found that I do not enjoy writing my books on my Mac computer. I don't know. I can't explain to you guys what it is, but it's something about the keyboard, which I'm fine with the keyboard for everything else. So I don't know why it would be like with writing the book, but for some reason I don't like it. And to go get Office, which I have to renew, is like, I think it's like, I have like a week left of it, is like $100. But they have these tablets that I, not tablets, they're like little small computers, they're HPs. And that's what I wrote my first book on and I loved, and that's actually what I started YouTube on. Like people ask me all the time, like, oh, I have to have a great computer. No, you don't. I started it on and that computer was $99. I got it at Walmart and it fits so easily just in like a messenger bag. I'm actually thinking about going and getting one of those because it's $99 and it comes with um, Office on there, like Microsoft Word and stuff. And I'm thinking, well, that might just be the better option. And then I could just use that computer just for writing my books and take it places. I don't know. I'm thinking about doing that. I mean, it's like either $100 for Office on my Mac, which I don't use Mac on my Office for anything other than to, um, like, Microsoft Word to, like, write my books. Or I'm like go and buy this little computer and have it for that. So I don't know. Speaking of like wasting money, I'm like, that probably kind of feels like I'm wasting money. But um, for me, it doesn't seem like it. Not if I'll write more using that. So anyway, I'm going to get gas and I will be back in um, a few. Okay. Now I'm getting ready to go to Half Price Books, one of my favorite places in the entire world. I really do save all of my receipts. One of my favorite places in the entire world to uh, see if they have this, um, if you see Andrew's book, My Sweet Audrina. I'm so excited! <laughs> Sometimes my gas tank fills up really high and sometimes it doesn't. It's really weird. I don't know why that is. Sometimes it goes over 400 miles, but today it just went to 370 and I filled it full the whole way. So I don't know why it did that. Does anybody know? Any car people out there? I hate when I go like at this like time of day and I film outside. It's like if I'm going this way, you can totally see me, but if I'm going this way, you can't see me at all. honestly so hungry and I don't know what I'm hungry for. Like I have no idea. Pasta? Yes, definitely. But the thing is I don't know where to go to get pasta. Have you guys ever been to Fazoli's? Do they even exist anymore? I don't know that I've, I think I've been to Fazoli's like one time in my entire life. That's not like really the pasta that I'm looking forward to though in my life. Oh, I should go to DSW first and see if they have Birkenstock sandals and how much they are. I'm gonna go do that. See, this is bad. When I'm like in a relaxed, just like let's hang out mood, like I wanna start going places. The thing is, I won't get them today. Even if they go, if I go in there and they have like the most perfect pair of Birkenstock sandals in the entire world, I still would not get them today. I would wait, honestly. Okay, so I'm going to go here, and then I'm going to go to the two different half price books, and then um, probably New Age People, and then I will check back in, and if I have made any purchases, I will do a little haul. How about that? All right, guys, I'll see you in uh, just a little bit. Okay, I have done some shopping. I am just leaving Barnes & Noble, which I hate buying books there because... I know I can get them cheaper places, and that's why I shouldn't have gone in there because their books look so good. And I ended up looking at all those Funko Pops, which I love, but I 
I have a hard time <laughs> buying them, but people gift them to me a lot, and I love them, and I keep them in my office. Um, and I have Jake from 16 Candles, and then I have um, like all the horror movie ones. I have like Carrie, and uh, the guy from Hellraiser, the Scream guy, Michael Myers, and Jason Voorhees. And I want like all the Designing Women ones, I want the royal family. They have the royal family in there. They have like Princess Diana and all of those. Um, and I'll show you guys what I got and I'll talk more about it on a, uh, on a uh, book haul. But I have been wanting to read a lot of like graphic novels and I've had a really, really hard time getting into it. Now, this is for mature audiences. I'm gonna tell you that. Um, one of my friend's husbands recommended this to me. He said, it's a series, there's three of them, they're real short, and they're really easy to get into. It's kind of a funny story. He was like, but it's about like this power that this couple has after they have sex together. So it's called Sex Criminals. And um, I got the first one, volume one. It's called uh, One Weird Trick by Matt Fraction and Chip Jarsky. Susie has a, sis a secret. For her, sex literally makes the world, can you guys hear my lisp from the side of my mouth? For her, sex literally makes the world come to a standstill. John has a problem. He hates his life, his job, and the special curse that makes him just like Susie. A girl meets boy, girl hooks up with boy, and for the first time in their lives, they find themselves alone together. So they do what any new, new young couple having sex in freezing time might do. They rob banks. It's supposed to be really good, so I'm excited about that. And then I got, um, I've been reading, wanting to read a lot of, like, I wanted to try some manga, manga, I don't know how you pronounce it, I think it's manga. And so many people have been talking about this on BookTube, and, like, I went, and I went, I was like, it's like, it was like $20, and I was like, I just don't know that I want to spend $20 and I have looked at the library and at Half Price Books for literally over a year. I started talking about this on my BookTube channel like a year ago. And um, so for a year, I've been looking for this and couldn't, it never was at the library. It was always checked out. And um, I mean, I guess I could have put myself on the waiting list, but I didn't. And then um, at, and I'm so stupid, I like pick it up and I start reading it from the front back, which you, you read it from the back front. And, um, Every time I went to Half Price Books, they never had it. And it's um, Orange by Ichigo, Ichigo Takano. And I'm totally mispronouncing his name. So anyway, and it's a series as well. And this is the first one. Um, a Plea from the Future. On the, and I sat there just now in the bookstore and I read like five pages of it. And I was like, oh, this looks really good. I'm going to get this. On the day that Naho begins 11th grade, she receives a letter from herself 10 years in the future. At first, she writes it off as a prank. But as the letter's predictions come true, one by one, Naho realizes that the letter might be the real deal. Her future tells Naho that a new transfer student, a boy named... Kakeru will soon join her class. The letter begs Nahu to watch over him, saying that only Nahu can save Kakeru from a terrible future. Who is this mystery boy, and can Nahu save him from his destiny? The heart-wrenching sci-fi romance that has over one million copies in print in Japan. It's supposed to be fantastic. So I'm really excited about that. When I was walking into Barnes & Noble, let me just tell you... Oh, and... Uh, well, when I was walking into Barnes & Noble, this girl was walking towards me and she was like, Peter likes books. And I just kind of looked, I was like, hey, how are you? She was like, good, how are you? I was like, do you watch my videos? And she was like, yeah, of course I watch your videos. And she was like, I just took my family in there to shop. So I said, well, give me a hug. She gave me a hug. I go, what's your name? I'll give you a shout out in a video. And she goes, my name's Crystal. And I was like, all right, Crystal. She was real funny. So um, at Half Price Books, well, at the first Half Price books, they didn't have the V.C. Andrews book. I'm going to have to order it on Amazon. I got Ruby, which I think I might have a copy of this already, so we're going to read this. And then um, at the second uh, Half Price books, because I've wanted to read these forever, I got The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. But the first book in the series, that I didn't know it was the first book in the series, is because I don't know much about C.S. Lewis or the Nar Narnia Chronicles, is The Magician's Nephew. But I've always wanted to read this series. Um, so I'm gonna try to start that as well. So yeah, those were my purchases um, at bookstores. I'm really excited, but I did go to DSW. You guys, okay. So here's the thing. <laughs> oh no, that's Tanya's bag of stuff that I'm giving her. So here's the thing. I have no business going into DSW. Okay. I, all summer long, wear flip-flops or 
sandals. But I wanted like a pair of like sandals that I could just wear like any day, you know what I mean? And so they had these Birkenstock sandals, you guys, and they're plastic. Did you see? They're black plastic. They were $39, 42 at taxes. They look really small in here, but they're 11s or they're 10s. I tried the 11 on, it was too big. I'm like between like a 10 and a half and 11, and these are 10s, and they're 43s. My very first pair of Birkenstocks I remember were 42s, so those must have been like nine, nine, they must have been nines, because these are 43s. I don't know European sizes and shoes, so. Well, here, I guess it says right here. US men, where does it say 42? Oh no, I know I don't wear an eight. It says a 43. Oh, U.S. men is a men's 10, and a 42 is a men's 9. So when I first, my very first pair of Birkenstocks, which was when I was a senior in high school, I would have worn a size 10, 9. I don't remember ever wearing a size 9, but these are size 10s. So, aren't they fun, though? Like, with, like, just, like, a black T-shirt and cut-off jean shorts? I think they'll be real cute for summer. $42. And that's what I would have spent on that massage anyway that Tony canceled on me. So I was like, see? Alex is really wanting a pair of Birkenstocks, which is so funny because forever he thought mine were so ugly, but he wants a pair of like, now I'm going to get something to eat. I think I'm just going to go to Noodles and Company. He wants a pair of um, the suede ones like I have, but he doesn't want the back strap on it. And so they have them there and they're $99. I think I'm going to have him just like go try them on with me one day and then I'm going to surprise him and get them for him. I like to, we're not big on like Christmas presents and stuff like that because we kind of surprise each other throughout the year. Oh, there she is right now. There she, look. I'm recording right now. How are you? Well, don't hit us. I'm going to hit you while I'm recording. Uh -oh. <laughs> there's Peter. Bye. Bye, Peter. Bye. <laughs> that was, wasn't that so sweet? Aw. That makes me so happy. I cannot even explain, like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. Like, the feeling that I get from just like, that people enjoy watching my videos. It makes me so happy. Like, I don't even know how to like explain it. Like, I get real emotional even talking about it, you see? And, um, and that never happens, you guys. Like, nobody ever stops me and is like, oh, you're Peter. That never happens to me. So, when it does, it feels real special. She was so funny, too. She's like, Peter likes books. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to try something new at Noodles and Company today. I'm, like, in the mood to try something new in my life. So, maybe not go to Noodles and Company. But... I think they have like an Alfredo sauce there, which I'm kind of craving. So I think I might do that. But like this Chipotle thing that they have there, oh my God, it's so good. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to um, get off here and I will be back a little bit later. <laughs> Bye. Hello. Well, I just dropped Tanya off a couple minutes ago. We went and got Fountain Coke. And drove around a little bit. And uh, commiserated. <laughs> no, not really. We weren't complaining about our lives. We were talking about planning a trip for the summer. Maybe just the two of us to like Gatlinburg, Tennessee or something for a long weekend. Um, I like ended up, after I went and did my shopping, Alex asked me if I wanted to go out to dinner with him and his friend. They went to this Mexican restaurant called Verde. I was like not feeling Mexican at all. So I was like, no. I said, I think I'm going to um, just get something and eat it at home. So I got noodles and company. 
and then I'm like working my way through like the first couple episodes of American Idol. I'm just not really into it. I don't know what it is. Like, first of all, I mean, it's partly that I'm 12 episodes behind. Because be that. Do you see how my hair is sticking out? Because I laid down for like 45 minutes. And um, right as I was getting done eating, I, uh, Tanya texted me and she was like, do you want to go get a fountain coke? And I was like, right now? It's like early for us. I was like, I was, I just got home and fed the dogs and ate and I was getting ready to lay down for like an hour. She was like, okay, well afterwards. So I laid down for like 45 minutes until Alex got home. And then we sat there and talked for a little bit. And um, then he's like, I'm going to watch like the end of this TV show and then I'm going to go to bed. He was like, I'm really tired. So he had been gone all day today. And, um... It's kind of weird that we were, like, together, you know, like, inseparable for two weeks. And But this weekend we have a housewarming party to go to on Saturday together. Sunday we get brunch because we haven't, you know... I mean, it's been a couple weeks since we do our Sunday brunch. <laughs> and, uh... I don't know what... We don't have any plans on Friday night. I guess the housewarming party is Saturday night, like, early evening. So... That'll be fun. It's kind of like this newer couple that we knew, that we know, that we met. It's my friend Aaron's husband, Eric's sister and brother-in-law. And they moved down here from Chicago like a year ago and they just built a house. So we're going over to that. So that'll be low key, it'll be nice. And uh, Yeah, so that'll be fun. And I don't know. I like to do, like, kind of fun, like, housewarming uh, presents for people. So I'm thinking about, like, getting a basket and then, like, going to, like, Trader Joe's and getting, like, some cheese and some coffee and some tea and, like, getting all different kinds of stuff. My friend Craig did that for me like years ago when I moved into a new apartment. I thought it was just such a nice like housewarming gift because it was all these like just little random different things like cookies and like cheese and crackers and coffee, tea. It was really, it was fun. So I'm thinking about doing that. Like get a candle and put it in there. And um, so yeah, that's Saturday. And that's about it. I had such a relaxing day today. I don't even really have a whole lot to talk about. I, uh, I mean, don't get me wrong. I can always find something to talk about, but, uh, it's just been such a relaxing day. I really like, and it feels like so long ago that I got up. It feels like weird. Um, and it's not too late. It's 1223 right now. Um, like half tempted to like I'm trying to finish this audiobook. I've got like two and a half hours left of it the flight attendant which actually started just really getting good towards the end it kind of like built momentum as I was like reading it or listening to it but like I got those two books today and I thought that I would start maybe like reading uh, that graphic novel and that manga tonight but I was like my eyes are tired but I knew as soon as I, like, went and, like, that my eyes were tired tonight. And I was, like, I know as soon as I go pick up Tanya, though, like, I'll get my second win, which is always what happens. And, um, now I don't really feel like sitting there reading, though, you know? I want to get one of those tall lights for our corner, um, so that I can sit, like, on the couch next to the kitchen and read when Alex goes to bed. And it not, like, keep him up or disturb him. Because there's not, like, really a good place for me to read. When we, uh... Get our patio all fixed this summer, we kind of went to Costco. Or he went to Costco and I went to Costco separately. And we both liked the same patio furniture. Isn't that funny? It's like this L-shaped couch. It's, like, blue. And it has this big blue ottoman in the middle of it. I was like, I am going to read outside this summer. I cannot wait. I love to be outside and read at night. But, like, our backyard is so dark at night. And it backs up into these woods. And so, it's kind of creepy strange back there. Um, but we'll see. 
I always read so much more in the summer because I love to read outside. And uh, book two bathon is this summer. I always look forward to that. It's gonna be a fun summer. I've been like the last couple days, like really getting back into booktube like I mean I always do but I kind of like go through phases of what I watch on YouTube and I watch so much YouTube and so many videos that like a couple days ago I fell down this rabbit hole with this guy named the gamer from Mars and he must have been a gamer at some point he has like half a million subscribers but now he does these videos and almost like every one of his videos is talking about like dying channels, like dying YouTube channels that were like really big at one point. He talks in there about like Onision and he talks in there about Tyler Oakley and it's really interesting because he's like, he's young and he's very thorough and I would kind of consider him a drama channel, but not really. He's more of like a commentary channel, but like it's really interesting when you watch his videos and you go in there and you see like what he has to say about like why he thinks these channels have failed because it's not always what you think it is and um, I'm just like super impressed with his content it's very well thought out I, you can tell that he scripts it he's like reading it from a script because it's just it's like spoken like a almost like a talk show or like a news show or something like that but they're done very well so I had been falling down that rabbit hole of his videos, and then um, I've been like watching so many vloggers lately. And then I, the last couple days, I've been watching a ton of booktubers again, and I kind of I kind of go through phases with it, and um, but I would go back in and like all of my favorite booktubers. Um, I mean, I post on my booktube channel every day, but most booktubers don't. They post, like, twice a week. So I was going in, and, like, booktube videos aren't typically really long. They're, like, six minutes long, four minutes long. So I was going back in, and, like, all of my favorites, like, Connor O'Brien and um, Richard's, Media Geek, Richard's Media Geek and, um, you know, people that I've watched for since, you know... Benjamin of Tomes, who changed his whole channel around, and Jesse the Reader, uh, Natasha, uh, Natashopoulos. I went in and I like rewatched like a bunch of their video, or didn't rewatch. I caught up on all their videos because I hadn't been like watching their videos consistently. Well, uh, Connor's I usually do because he does a lot of like pet box un unboxings and uh, like pet subscription boxes. So I was watching those. And, um, but I always kind of watch those and keep up with them, but his book stuff I don't. Anyway. Yeah, so I've been watching a lot of BookTube. The nice thing about BookTube is, like, once you go in, like, a lot of people th tell me, they'll say, like, I want to, like, get into BookTube, but I don't know, like, how to find somebody. Like, if you go in and you watch, like, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll go in and watch a tag, like, the BookTube or the BookTube newbie tag is like a tag that like everybody kind of does like when they start booktube it's like one of their very first videos that most people usually do so if you just put that tag in you find like so many booktubers and then if you're watching their video um then somebody else will do it somebody else will do it somebody else will do it i invented this tag <laughs> like six months ago called the booktuber booktuber tag and it's basically just a tag where you shout out like your favorite booktubers and like you say like who's your booktuber og who's your booktuber or booktuber booktube like you wish they were your big, like big sister big brother um that kind of stuff and uh, it's so funny because so many people have done the tag now and i love going in there and watching those that's like one of my favorite things and the other thing was last summer i invented this tag so a lot of booktubers like start tags it's not like i'm fancy or anything a lot of booktubers start like original tags and so i started one and it was called um the book scavenger hunt and books and lala who i'm never behind on her videos she's like my favorite like booktuber i love her so much and um she's from canada and i just love her son and her husband and they're just so 
so sweet and so endearing, all of them. But we read, like, almost the exact same things. And, uh, so she was one of the first people that did my book, excuse me, my scavenger hunt. And the way that I did it was I said, whatever book, like, you find at the very end is the book that the universe is telling you that you're supposed to read next. Well, she just redid it with her husband and she did it like she like a lot of people do this and she called like they'll change tags up and she called it the booktube scavenger hunt 2.0 and i was like oh my god i love that she did this so i'm gonna have to do it now and um on my own bookshelf which i think will be hilarious or i might go to the library and do it because that's where i did it before You have to be very quiet at the library. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it's Thursday almost already. I have one meeting tomorrow that's like a follow-up meeting. Um, with like a business that I've worked with a lot in the past. And they're just kind of wanting some strategic ideas. And then, um, I need to go to Walmart and look at that computer that I was talking about, see if they still have it there. I was going to do that tonight, but I don't feel like walking into Walmart. Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever, like, have you ever gotten to a, like, you'll say, oh, I'm going to go to the store, and then you get there, and then you're like, I'm not going in. <laughs> do you ever do that? Like, I've done that so many times. That is, like, the epitome of laziness. But I just didn't, I just didn't feel like going into Walmart tonight. And I even asked Tanya, I was like, do you want to go into Walmart with me? And she's like, no, not really. She's like, if it wasn't 11 o'clock, I go, Tanya, you'll be up at till two o'clock in the morning watching TV. She's like, I just don't feel like going into Walmart. <laughs> and I love like Meyer. like if it had been Meyer, I probably would have gone. But Meyer's electronic section sucks compared to Walmart. So Walmart has a 10 times better electronic sec section. all of our TVs at Walmart. We have like really high-end, like nice TVs and we didn't pay a lot for them. And they've lasted like they've, the duration. We got all of our TVs at Walmart. I keep on meaning to buy a VCR and just like keeping it in the box because I still have one that works. But like I have so many VCR tapes and I don't want someday to not be able to watch them. I know this is gonna sound so corny, but like, my, I'm sure at some point they'll stop making VCRs, right? And um, they're like, you can get them for so cheap, you can get them for like $29.95. And I keep on meaning to buy one, like when I'm at Walmart, I've seen them there. And just keeping one like in a box at like down the road when I wanna pull these movies out and watch them and I can't find them anywhere else, at least I'll have a VCR, you know? You think they'll stop making them? Am I crazy? I have a VCR in my office that works. I have a VCR TV combo. <laughs> and all of the movies. I have like, Adventures. The, the problem is, is that most of these movies now, you can stream. So it's like you don't even need to own the movies because anything that you would, it's like buying DVDs, you know? It's like anything that you would possibly want to watch, you can get streaming and you can like, you know, see on Netflix or see on Hulu or Xfinity or DirecTV or, you know, whatever your cable provider is. I mean, anybody can do that. So it's not like you need it like... DVDs and VCR tapes, you know, but like for some reason I just can't throw them out or sell them. I just like, I really struggle with that. I don't know what it is. It's like letting go a part of my past or something. And I'm not buying new ones, so it's not like I'm a hoarder with this stuff, but it's like I just can't let it go for some reason. shooting star earlier tonight it was snowing today and I am over it I'm over this cold weather apparently it's supposed to be warmer tomorrow like in the 50s which I will be thankful for that
feeling that I'm about to go into this writing rampage. Sometimes when I get really excited about writing, I just like write and write and write and can't stop. And I've been working so hard <clears throat> on outlining and getting this <coughs> memoir together or book of like short stories of my life that like I have like right now like 20 chapters of stories in there. So I'm excited about that. I constantly lay in bed at night and I like write notes down in my phone. And then the next day, like I transfer the notes onto like paper. It's just such a big waste of time. But I'm so old school when it comes to notebooks and stuff like that. Like, I love notebooks. I love writing in notebooks. I love, oh my God, I'm obsessed with Sharpies. I can't get enough of Sharpies. I love the Sharpie pens. I love the Sharpie markers. I love everything about them. into that young adult section at uh, Barnes & Noble today, which is like the teen fiction section, which is what I like to read. Like young adult contemporary. Oh, I should never have walked in there. Oh my God. There are so many brand new books that are out that I want to read. I was like, I just want to sit by the pool and just read and read and read and read. And that Leah Moyerty's book, the Perf or the Husband's Secret that I started in Florida, it is so good. I was actually at Half Price Books today, and this woman was like looking at it, and I go, I'm reading that book right now, and it is fantastic. And she's like, is it a good romance? And I was like, I don't know that I would, oh, my camera just stopped. Okay, I'm back. So anyway, I was in Half Price Books, and I was telling this, she was like holding it up, and she was like, well, I'm looking for a really good romance. <laughs> is it a romance? I go, uh... I mean, it's kind of twisted, but I don't know that I would call it a romance. None of Liam O'Garrity's books are like romances. If you ever saw Big Little Lies on HBO or read the book, I thought it was fantastic. But The Secret, the Husband's Secret is very similar to that. And I'm starting to think that all of her books are like that, which is fine by me because I love them. I love them. And I think they're done so well. She writes about like five different characters and they kind of like intertwine in each other's lives. And you know that it's going to like meet up at some point, but you don't really know why or how. And it's just really interesting how it's done. So, but anyway, she's like, well, do you know any other good romances? I was like, um, I don't typically read romances. <laughs> no, sorry. I go, good luck. But that was funny. So, she was very sweet though. I was so upset that I couldn't find the VC Andrews book that I was looking for. I feel like this is what's so weird is I feel like I own a copy. I'm gonna have to just like look through all of my books tomorrow. I sat there and I, in front of my bookshelf the other day and I like looked through all my books and I was like, I know I own a copy of my Sweet Audrina. And I was like, but I don't know where it is. And uh, I just like for the life of me cannot figure out where I would have put it. But, like I feel like I bought it. I feel like I can see it in my head, the cover. And um, that was what was so funny too, is if you've ever like gotten the old school VC Andrews covers, they're very spooky, but they're beautifully done. They're just, there's a look to them that like they're different than anybody else's work. It's like James Patterson. Like you look at a James Patterson book, you know it's a James Patterson book, right? Well, VC Andrews books are like that too, the older ones. And, um, which I don't know why they ever changed doing that cover. The cover was fantastic. So anyway, um, but I, uh, at the counter, I don't know what I was thinking, the woman at the counter, she said to me, she goes, oh my God, I love the cover, it's so cool, and I started talking to her, I was like, you've never heard of E.C. Andrews, and she's like, no, <laughs> what is that, you work at a bookstore, you've never heard of E.C. Andrews, how could you not, I mean, it's not like she's lit, like, literary fiction or anything, you know, but, so if you guys are watching this, and you want to be part of my book club, go head over to my booktube channel, Peter Likes Books, subscribe, and yeah, participate. And if you don't want to read the first one, we're going to read Heaven. It's very easy to find. Um, and a couple people on my booktube channel said that it, they couldn't afford to participate. I'm like, you could probably get these books, honestly, at Goodwill. I was going to go look there today. and um, But like, 
the books that I bought today at Half Price Books, the V.C. Andrews books were like $3, $3.49 or something like that. They're not expensive books. And you could probably get it on Thrift Books or, you know, Book Depository or something like that. Um, that's why I waited two week I waited two weeks out so that people could get the book. You could probably get it on there for I mean literally a couple dollars. And most of those um, websites don't charge for shipping and handling. So Thrift Books is a really good place to get books. You can get books really cheap there. And a lot of them are library editions. Um, you know, like from libraries that have closed down or whatever. But um, yeah, I mean, these are like pulp paperbacks. They're not super expensive. But I didn't think when I picked these books that it would be hard to find them. So I hope it's not hard for people to find. Um, I'm also going to look and see if there's an audio, audio version. And I'm sure you can get it on your Kindle. I'm almost positive. I can't imagine you can't get my sweet Audrina on your Kindle. And um, if you haven't watched my video about my book club yet, I'm going to be... Um, starting this and we're going to see how it goes forward but it's not going to be like uh, Oprah's book club like that kind of literature it's going to be like all like pop culture classics kind of like fun books that like you know like either shaped my life and I'm rereading them like Lucky by Jackie Collins or Rockstar by Jackie Collins you know, or something like that. Lace by Shirley Conran. I think I mentioned that last night when I was talking about it on here. Um, I've been trying to think of some others today, and I can't, I, I, honestly, for the life of me, I can't think of them. Valley of the Dolls I want to read. But, you know, those kind of books that, like, everybody says that you should read, what you know, once. They're kind of cheesy, but they're, like, pop culture classics that are kind of fun. I was honestly thinking about doing Helter Skelter on it for August and just having it be one book. How would you guys feel about that? Because, like, for the last two years, I've said I was going to finish Helter Skelter, and I haven't. It's extremely long, and, um, but, like, I really, really want to read Helter Skelter. like Sybil <laughs> or When That Rabbit Howls. I think that's another one. Like these are all books that I remember like my friends reading when I was like in high school. Or oh my god Pamela DeBar, I'm with the band about how she was like this big groupie. Like that would be a fun book to read on there. But it's going to be books like that. It's not going to be like super serious books. Because I think that would be more fun anyway, you know. I want it to be a fun book club. And I'm going to do a live stream for every book that we read. At least one live stream. And then I haven't been live streaming a lot. I'm starting again tomorrow night. And then I'm going to try to get back on to doing it regularly. And, um, and while, the problem was while we were in Miami, the Wi-Fi in the hotel room sucked so bad. that I Because Alex was like, aren't you going to do it while we're here? And I was like, I can't get on the Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi, like... It would, like, not let me go live on the computer. And I could have done it with my phone, but, like, my phone doesn't last that long. Because if you guys have ever been on YouNow on your phone, like, it just really drains the battery. And, um, so I didn't do it while we were in Florida. And then I came back, and I've been, like, so tired every night um, that I'm just not used to, like any kind of like schedule you know yet so I think I'm going to start it well I am going to start it tomorrow night and then have a regular I need to find like a regular schedule so people know when to look for me on you now I miss doing the live stream so I keep on saying I'm going to do it every night and then it's like it comes that time I'm like I'm so tired I don't want to do it tonight because if I do it then people will think that I'm tired and they'll be like why are you doing it if you're tired but I love the live streams they're so fun I really enjoy them you know and so, um, I think tomorrow, because my meeting is early, and um, I'm going to go home here in just a couple minutes, so I'll be in bed by like 1.30, I'm going to try to get up early tomorrow and uh, film my videos in the morning, because I already know what I'm going to do for them tomorrow, and, uh, well, I already know what I'm going to do for my booktube and my uh, Peterisms video, but I don't know what I'm going to do for my drama channel video. And then afterwards, come home and film my drama channel video. And then take a nap early, because I don't have anything else to do. 
and then do a live stream like nine-ish tomorrow night. So if you're watching this, I'm probably gonna do a live stream at like between nine and 10. Like I'll, that's when I'll come on. Alex is like, why don't you do them earlier in the day? And I'm like, well, if I do them earlier in the day, people don't typically like to watch them unless, you know, then I catch like parts of Europe because it's like five hours later over there, six hours later. But like typically people have told me that they like when I go on later at like, you know, 10, between like 9.30 and 10.30. So that's what I've tried to do. It's a spooky Halloween moon out tonight. And it's like reflecting off this like, we have flooding everywhere in Indianapolis right now because of the rain and then the snow melted. And so it's reflecting off of this cornfield, which is just full of water. It's very eerie out here. Anyway, that was just kind of my little follow me around for a day vlog. Did you guys enjoy that? All right, well listen, I think I'm gonna get off here now and listen to my audiobook on my way home and then I'm gonna be in bed curled up with my pups and my husband. And um, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. I love you. Bye.